atheist, but those who followed them, well, they were afraid. So Jesus called the twelve together and began to tell them again what must happen to him, saying, See, we are on our road to Jerusalem, and there the Son of Man must be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes and the elders, and they will condemn him to death. And then they will hand him over to the Gentiles. And they will mock him. And they will spit on him. And they will flog him or beat him. And they will kill him. And three days later, he will rise again. Well, James and John, the son of Zebedee, they came forward and they said to Jesus, Teacher, we want you to do whatever we ask for. Jesus said, what is it that you want me to do for you? And they said, we want you to grant us one to sit at your right hand and one on your left hand in your glory. Jesus said, you do not know what you ask. Can you drink the cup that I drink? Can you be baptized with the baptism with which I will be baptized? And they said, oh yes, we are able. He said, oh, you will drink the cup that I drink, and you will be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized. But for me to grant you to sit at my right and my left, that is not mine to offer. It is for those for whom it has been already prepared. They came to Jericho. And then as Jesus and the disciples and a very large crowd were leaving Jericho, Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. And he called out, when he heard that it was Jesus, he called out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And those who were around him sternly ordered him to keep quiet, but he cried out all the louder, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still, and he said, call him to me. So they said, take heart. Get up. He's calling you. And he threw off his cloak and he sprang up and he ran to Jesus. And Jesus said, what do you want me to do for you? And he said, my teacher, let me see you again. Jesus said, go. Your faith has made you well. And immediately his sight was regained and he followed him along the way. Well, as they were approaching Jerusalem at Bethphage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, <clears throat> Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead. And he said, go into the village, and there you will find a colt tied. It's never been ridden. Untie it and bring it to me. And if anyone should ask you, why are you untying that colt? Say to them, the Lord needs it, and he will return it immediately. So they went, and they found the colt tied near a door outside in the street, and they began to untie it, and some bystanders came by and said, Why are you untying that colt? And they told them what Jesus had said, and they allowed them to take it. And they brought it to Jesus, and they placed it their cloaks over it, and he sat on it. And people began to spread their cloaks on the road ahead of him. And they began to throw down leafy branches that they collected out in the fields. And those who were before him and those who were after him were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David! Hosanna in the highest heaven! And he entered Jerusalem, and he went into the temple. And when he had looked all around at everything, since it was 
already late. He went to Bethany with the disciples. And the next day, as they were on their way from Bethany, Jesus was hungry, and he saw off in the distance a fig tree in leaf. And he went to see if he could get anything off of it to eat. But he found only leaves because it wasn't the season for figs. So he said to the tree, may no one ever eat any fruit off of you again. And the disciples, they heard it. Well, they came to Jerusalem and they went into the temple. And Jesus immediately began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple. And he turned over the tables of the money changers and he knocked over the seats of those who were selling doves. And he wouldn't allow anybody to carry anything in the temple. And he was teaching them, saying, Isn't it written, My Father's house is to be a house of prayer for all nations, but you... You are making it a den of robbers. The scribes heard this. They wanted to kill him. But they couldn't because the crowd was so spellbound by his teaching. And when it was evening, Jesus and his disciples left the city. Well, the next morning, as they were passing by, the fig tree was withered clear down to its roots. <clears throat> Peter remembered and he said, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed, it's withered. Jesus said, have faith in God. For truly I tell you, if you were to say that this mountain right here be taken up and thrown into the sea, and if you did not doubt, and if you believed, it would come to pass. For I tell you that anything, anything you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And when you stand Sees. 
seized him, and they beat him, and they sent him away empty-handed. So he sent another one. And this one, they beat over the head, and they insulted him. So he sent another. But this one, they killed. And so it was with many others. Some they beat, some they killed. But he had one other. And it was his beloved son. And he said, I will send them my son, for they will respect him. But when the tenants saw the son approaching, they said, look, here comes the heir. Let us kill him, and then the inheritance will be ours. And so they seized him, and they killed him, and they threw him out of the vineyard. What do you suppose the owner of the vineyard will do now? Well, I'll tell you. He will destroy those tenants, and he will give the vineyard to others. For it is the stone that the builders rejected that has become the cornerstone. That is the Lord's doing, and it is good in our sight. Oh, oh, the scribes, when they realized he was talking about them, wanted to arrest him, but they couldn't because of the crowds. And so they left him, and they went away. This is the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God.